Hey guys, welcome to Snake Nook. I'm Vanny and with me we've got little Thorn. He's my rattler. <laughs> He's actually my Emery's rat snake or my Great Plains rat snake. And he is joining me today. He's co-hosting this video. And actually, guys, we are introducing beautiful little Thorn to you guys on Snake Nook's second anniversary on YouTube. He's not new to me, but he's new to you guys. So I've had him for about a year now, and he was really little when I got him. He was, I believe, just a yearling at the time. And I decided to kind of work with him and wait off on introducing to you guys, waiting for a special occasion or just the right occasion. And I decided to wait until Snake Nook's second anniversary, but you heard me right at the beginning. So Thorn is a little rattler. <laughs> he mimics rattlesnakes. He is a rattlesnake mimic and I'll show you why. I'm also going to tell you all about Emery's rat snakes or the Great Plains rat snakes. So go ahead guys get comfortable and let's go ahead and learn more about this little rattler mimic. Stay tuned! All right guys let me tell you all about Thorn and how I came to acquire this little fellow. So at Snake Nook, I did not have any colubrids. That's about a year ago. I had only pythons and boas, and I didn't really plan on getting any colubrids. So through the science program at work at school, I have worked with colubrids like corn snakes, and I've also worked with um, king snakes and a type of king snake known as the milk snake and those are my experiences with colubrids and so we have seen them in the classroom we've learned about them we've um, observed their behavior i you know i've cared for them cleaned to their environment that sort of thing their little enclosure but i didn't have one here at snake nook and i always did want one but i wasn't so sure and i all the very first colubrid guys that i ever had in the classroom was one of these and i'm going to show you a picture her name was storm and she's actually the reason why i have a snake named stormy or storm it was after that very first colubrid that um i ever had in the classroom as a guest pet snake so that was awesome and i just thought she was amazing to hold and to spend time with and so I thought if I ever do get a colubrid, it has to be this one, the Emery's rat snake. And I'll tell you why I decided on the Emery's rat snake and not some other rat snake or some other colubrid. So what I like about these guys is that, and and, if, and there are, um, most, of, most of these guys you're gonna find them are wild types. I believe there's a morph that has like a brighter green it, instead of like this gray color it's like deep gray patches they have um like greener patches instead of like really dark gray but there really is not you know there's not all these morphs like corn snakes so pretty much the wild type one is the one you see and i love how these guys resemble the desert mosasauga um, so here in Texas, we do have those rattlesnakes and we also have the prairie rattlesnake, which he also resembles. And I just love how these snakes use that mimicry to avoid predation. And one of the best features that I like about the snake is the way that it can rattle its tail, although it's not the only species of snake that does that. But the Emery's rat snake is really good at rattling its tail so that it sounds like a rattlesnake. And Thorn did not disappoint. So even though I've had Thorn for a year, every now and then when I reach in to get him, he still does his little, little rattle. <laughs> and he just sounds like a little rattlesnake. That's just so amazing. I know that eventually he's probably going to outgrow that. But in the meantime, it has been really awesome to observe and to hear him just mimicking a rattlesnake how cool is that so no other snake at snake nook mimics a rattlesnake 
but he does. So he's very special to me. He's very unique. And I absolutely enjoy having this beautiful little rat snake at Snake Nook. And so guys, I am I just had to get a colubrid. It would be this one. So I'm so happy that I did get Thorn. And I actually got him last year around the same time that I got. I got him shortly after I got Stellar. <laughs> so while I was working on conditioning Stellar to handling, which that was a that was a lot of fun and still is i also had to work with thorn and he was really small really flighty fast and not at all used to handling so i was working with stellar on that and also um with this little guy with thorn so i was working with two different two very different snakes on conditioning to handling at about the same time so that certainly was a nice summer to to enjoy my snakes uh, and so all I can say is good things about this snake because he has helped me out in the classroom. He's been a snake education ambassador for me. He has helped me to teach a lesson on mimicry. And it was amazing how the kids got to hear him rattle his little tail. So that was so much fun. I'm gonna go ahead now and put some footage of um, this little guy when he was younger and more recent footage so that you guys can see what I mean. But yeah, these guys mimic desert mosasagas here in Texas and also prairie rattlesnakes. That is is so amazing. So the Emery's Rat Snake or Great Plains Rat Snake is Panther Office Amorii, and this colubrid can occupy a variety of habitats throughout states like Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, and Texas. They can even be found in northern Mexico, and their habitats include hill prairies, woodlands, canyons, um, any semi-arid uh, semi region, and even barnyards. And when fully grown, this rat snake will be about four feet in length. So the Great Plains Rat Snake, Ramory's Rat Snake, has beautiful colors that mimic the patterns on the Desert Mossasaga and the Prairie Rattlesnake. This rat snake also uses behavioral mimicry to trick predators into thinking that they are rattlesnakes. They will vigorously shake their tails against the ground or leaf litter, making a rattling sound. Plus, they have slightly or weakly keeled scales and a dark mask that crosses the dorsal forehead and wraps around the eyes, much like some rattlesnakes. So we're going to go ahead and listen to some upcoming footage of the sound that this rat snake makes that mimics rattlesnake sounds. Very interesting, guys. Very interesting. So turn up your volume and listen closely. Great Plains rat snakes are non venomous colubrids, so no worries here. Hello. <laughs> Let's go, sweetie. Let's go. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for staying with us to the end of the video. We certainly hope that you have enjoyed learning about the Emery's rat snake. They are amazing, amazing rattlesnake mimics, not just with the rattling of their tail, but also with the beautiful patterns 
amazing guys amazing colubra to have as a pet snake thank you so much for staying with us and we hope to see you here again next time y'all have a good one bye